Grade 8 math number 7.3b. Again, this whole chapter 7 is about linear equations. Now we're going to use the distributive property on both sides of the equation. The distributive property can be useful for solving equations. We distribute a factor to all the terms within the parentheses. Then solve for the variable. Now remember, we need to apply the distributive property before we isolate the variable on one side because the order of operations says to simplify expressions inside parentheses first. So remember our parentheses nest and the mother bird is the number that we're, we're distributing. And she feeds each baby inside the parentheses. Everyone gets a turn one time. Nobody gets left out, okay? So some equations need to use the distributive property on both sides of the equation. So like for this one it says solve 3 fourths and then x minus 13 is in parentheses minus equals minus 2 and 9 plus x in parentheses. See, because this 3 fourths has got a denominator of 4, we're going to multiply both sides of the equal sign, both sides of the equation by 4 to get rid of that fraction. By eliminating the fractions first, it makes it easier to distribute as whole numbers. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equal sign by 4. Now, because this is a fraction, I made it easier on my eyes by writing this as a 4 over 1. 4 times 3 is 12, and 1 times 4 is 4. 12 over 4 is 3. So now that's what the left side of the equation looks like. Positive 4 times negative 2 makes a negative 8. And we drop down our 9 plus x. Now we're ready to distribute. We got rid of those that fraction right here, didn't we? So this is our new equation. And we're going to use the distributive property on both sides. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 13 is negative 39. And it equals, we drop down the equal sign, negative 8 times positive 9 is negative 72. And negative 8 times a positive x makes a negative 8x. Now we're ready to do inverse operations and eliminate some of these terms. So because it was a negative 8x here, I added an 8x to both sides. That eliminated this one, and now it's gone. We add 8x to this side and get 11x. Now we need to eliminate this negative 39 to try to get this x by itself. So I added 39 to both sides. That eliminated this one, and we added 39 to this side to this negative 72, and it didn't quite get us to 0, but it got us closer. We're at negative 33. Now we've got 11x equals negative 33. Now it's time to divide, get that x by itself. We divide both sides as inverse to multiplication because 11x means multiplication. We divide both sides by 11. Negative 33 divided by 11 is a negative 3. That's what x equals. Were you able to follow that? See? Let's try it again. This time we've got a 5 as our denominator in negative 3 fifths. So we're going to multiply each part of these terms by 5, even this guy. Now, in the previous problem, we didn't have anything behind this parentheses. Now we have this minus 18 back here. He needs to be multiplied by 5 also. So the entire equation is lifted by being multiplied by 5, not just part of it, because then it wouldn't be fair. So we do that. And I wrote it as 5 over 1 to make it easier on my eyes. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, and 1 times 5 is 5. So negative 15 over 5 simplifies to negative 3. Now the left side of the equation looks like this. Now I have to multiply this side by, or by positive 5. So 5 times a negative 3 gives us another negative 15 over here. And we have to multiply this negative 18 by 5. 18 times 5 is 90, so we have a negative 90. Now we can distribute on both sides of the equation. Now this guy's just going to come along for the ride. He doesn't get distributed because he's not in the parentheses. So we're going to do distri the distributive property for these two parts right here. So negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Negative 3 times negative 2y is positive 6. We have two negatives that make a positive positive 6y. Now that's the left side of the equation. Now we've got a negative 15 times a positive y that gives us a negative 15y. Negative 15 times negative 5 gives us a positive 75. And we drop down that ni negative 90. So now that's our equation right here and we simplify. Okay? So 
when we put together the positive 75 and the negative 90, we get a negative 15. See? So now we've eliminated this and it turned into a negative 15. So now that's our new equation. Now we can start using the inverse operations to solve for y. I see a positive 6 here. I can take away a 6y. See? There's a positive 6y. So that's going to create a zero pair, isn't it? And that's going to be eliminated. But then I have to do the same thing on this side of the equal sign. So negative 15y take away a 6y is going to give us a negative 9y. Because we're taking away 6 negatives, we're getting closer to 0. So we have negative 9y. And we drop down that negative 15. We drop down this negative 15. So now we've got this as our equation. Negative 15 equals negative 9y minus 15. So what we do is, because we have a negative 15 here and we're trying to get this y by itself, we add 15 to both sides of the equation. We create a zero pair here, and that eliminates it. And it creates a zero pair here, and it eliminates it. But now we have nothing on the left side of the equation. We've got a zero. We drop down the negative 9y, and because this is multiplication, we divide by negative 9. Negative 9 divided by negative 9, that's a 1. That's just a y by itself. So we've eliminated this and turned it into our friend, the invisible 1. But we have 0 on this side. We have nothing. And when we divide that by negative 9, well, when the numerator equals 0, the fraction equals 0. So that's just a, a big old 0. So y is equal to 0. So after doing all of this, we find out that y is equal to 0. Isn't that amazing? So that was using the distributive property on both sides of the equation, eliminating fractions by multiplying by the denominator on both sides, and it's dealing with rational numbers with linear equations. So we're going to continue on talking about linear equations in the next video. I hope this was helpful. We're making it. We're getting farther and farther along, and I hope you're following okay, and I'll see you next video. Bye.